and welcome back. Today we are playing Baldur's Gate 3, so we're back here again. We're still at the inn. A lot has happened. It's been quite eventful. Let me see if we can loot anything else. We have the winged war that was empty. These are all empty. So, they're after Isabel, which is obvious because she's the one protecting the inn with her barrier. And if she dies, everybody dies because this is the lost light. People are counting on her. So I am the offensive and I should really be heading towards Moonrise Towers to take care of Catherine Torm because he's back after centuries. So that's nice. On with you. Unless you want to come back to a gaggle of shadow cursed harpers. Oh yeah, I love that. It could be entertaining. <laughs> I'm gonna say that it could be entertaining. Don't jest. We're all closer to oblivion than you might think. And when we're gone, there'll be no one left to stop Catherick. Not gonna happen. I still have a few questions. Go on then. Hmm, this curse seems incredibly powerful. What more can you tell me about it? She didn't seem to know much when I first asked her about it as a druid. How did you come to this place? I don't know much about you. Care to fill in the blanks? I am not overly familiar with Saloon and Char. Eh, debatable, but could you enlighten me? Talk about the curse. It seems incredibly powerful. What more can you tell me about it? It belongs to the goddess Shah. According to the Harpers, it fell here when they defeated Cuthric. The one who tried to have me kidnapped. I suppose they didn't defeat him quite hard enough. No. Shadowheart, this is troubling. It belongs to Shah and it's 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 giving a lot it's giving a suffering, Shadowheart. <laughs> How'd you come to this place? Right place, right time. When a cleric of Saluna stumbles into a Sharon shadow, she's bound to set it to rights. At any cost. Ooh, you're that shadow? I don't know much about you. Care to fill in the blanks? I could say the same. But perhaps we should save the trivia till we're on the other side of this thing. Why? Promise not to die, and we'll celebrate with our life stories. Hmm, you're sick though. You are coughing and there's death inside of you because I read your journal and it was very cheeky of me. <coughs> All right, I'm not overly familiar with Salune and Shar. Could you enlighten me? Moon and shadow, light and dark, divine sisters ever at war. And this place has become one more battlefield. Sometimes life forces us to choose sides. Luckily, sometimes the choice is obvious. Shadow? You got anything to say about that? She's very quiet about it. Interesting. But she did have pain when she gave the blessing of Salune. Obviously, because those gods are ever at war with each other. Char doesn't like that. Are you okay, Shadow? Can we talk to you? May the darkness protect you. Yeah, she has a blessing. That's not gonna be good. going on? What do you mean, a plan? You want to talk? We'll keep an eye on Isabel. If they send anyone else to snatch her, we'll be there to stop them. Well, you better, because I did most of the handiwork there, even though you guys held off all right. No surprise to find a traitor among the flaming fist. Oof. Honor isn't their strong suit. Oof. Yeah, well, he was with them from the beginning, so they've been keeping tabs all right. You guys okay? I'll be honest. Didn't think we stood a mm, chance. Same. Not till you came along. All right, you already talked to me about that. Wondering if that's the same too. Reckon you're our last hope. But can't say I'm worried. Oh well, thank you for that confidence boost. All right, so let's talk to the children who are thinking of leaving, which would be a shame. I mean, I understand they're worried, but I don't, I'm not sure if the chances are any better out there. Hello, kitty cat. Are you okay? <laughs> be gone. Okay, be gone. I saved your ass. Are you okay, Marcus? What now? Oh, what well, rude. Is the brilliant retort ready? No. Oh. And pestering the craftsman won't speed things up. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you want to trade then? I'm sure you would. <laughs> He's immediately happy. Oh, I'm sure you would. All right. Well, let's see. Oh, I want to trade. Sorry. Sell so wares. All right, let's see what else we have. I need to get my stuff out of camp. I know. I don't want you right now. 
what does that do? Tell me if that's any good. I think it might be good. Transportation, I really like that one. That's fine for now. If you're done rifling through my things. Oh, please. All right, let's see what else we have. Um, hey, oh God, you're okay. I was worried about you. First cultists nearly murder us. And now we have a traitor on the inside. Can't we trust anyone? I know it's looking bad, but we're taking pre precautions, right? Just focus on getting through this. You can trust me. Stop whining. You can trust me? I know. You've been there for us every step of the way. It's just all a bit much sometimes, you know? I understand. Don't worry. I do. What are you two up to? Yeah, it was because Maul was kidnapped, right? I so am all upset about that. Mo would do the same for any of us. Oh, you're trying to you save? You know it. But how do we get into Moonrise? Oh. We can't fight those shadow things. We could. I beat up those harpies, and they're way scarier than shadows. Oh, no. You know what Mo would hate more than anything? Bad things happening to us. You've seen what's out there. We wouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, it's a thing. You stay put, I'll bring Mo home. She's probably dead already. Most resourceful, she'll find a way back. You guys stay put. I'm bringing her home. But it's our job to bring Mole back. Not if Look I'm at here. Her. She's a proper adventurer. And if we got hurt, Mole would be really mad at us. Fine. But you gotta understand, Mole is family. Oh. Bring her back. You're please. so sweet. I'll, I'll, I'll try my very, very hardest. I promise. Yumi. We need Mole. Please, get her back. Oh, I feel so bad. All they have is each other. What are you doing? You gotta get Mole! Don't make me regret trusting you with this. I'm off then. Hey, wizard boy. How you doing? Ew. <laughs> we won't even have to go out into the shadows to die now that the cultists have found us. Get your act together, man. Nobody else is dying. I'll deal with the cultists. Scared, maybe you should have surrendered when you had the chance. And you'll be too drunk to care when they cut your throat. Smart. You know what? I'm over you. You're not responding well to my kindness. Tough love, then. Cheers. Oh. Insufferable. I understand, but insufferable. I am sympathetic towards him. I really am, but nothing seems to work. Alright, I'm gonna see what else I can do. Hey, you okay? Watch your back out there. If it's not the cult coming for you, it'll be the shadows. Hmm. Good work rooting out the traitor. Well, he flew into my window. Not much investigation for me. Marcus was scum, but the rest of us are loyal to Duke Gravengard. Uh -huh. Loyal to Baldur's Gate, I swear it. Ah, uh -huh. you sure about that? You sure about that? Die, you traitor scum! <laughs> I've known Marcus for years. To think that he would turn on us, on me. Oh. You did well to defend oh, Isabel. Oh, you considered him a friend then? That's sad. Hey, thank you for helping <laughs> us. Daniel and me Clive Clive Climbing up a tree He keeps saying Daniel's name He must know more We need to rouse him I'll try I'll see what I can do I don't deserve you my friend How oh, sad Alright let's see Are you okay, Mattis? Maul can be cranky and mean, but she looks after us. So stock up, all right? Because you need all the help you can get to bring her home. Right. Okay, let's see what we have. I already traded from you a little while ago. Oh, shreds targets from within. Jesus. Yeah, okay. Pleasure thank you. doing business with you. I know. Oh, I know. All right. Let's see what's outside. You okay? I broke bread with that flaming fist. Little shit. Yeah, it must come hard. I'd rather face Catherick's armies than suffer traitors. 
Watch out for those flaming fists. Oh yeah, this is gonna cause unrest between the sanctions because there was already a little bit of unrest, but now because the flaming fists, well, one of them betrayed them, the Harpers are gonna see that as a way to distance themselves even further. That. Always knew Marcus was a snake. <laughs> he did well to knock the light out of him. He wanted wings, apparently. The flaming fist may be a bit rough. But I've respected them. Didn't expect a traitor in their ranks. Well, here you go. That sucks. Did you see him? The traitor. Disgusting. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit disgusting. But I have the moon. Oh. We've shared but one oh. victory, friend. Oh. But it will not be our last. We have the moon lantern now, so I might be able to explore a little bit more here. Oh! <clears throat> Where's this? Queen of Ravens. What's that? Highlighted from the other chapters, in this work by the gorgeous little pictures and artistic renditions of the events described, you can read the following. In that time of shattered allegiances between elven gods and with the adulation of Chardon Kai elves in her pocket, the woman bid her followers elevate her to godhood. Do it, and I'll reforge our broken pantheon, she said. Do it, and I'll make things sweet and synchronous again. And they did, all but the dissenters in her avid flock, who during the ritual of godly ascension tried to wrest power from the woman. At this crucial moment, she tore from the dissenters apart. With the ritual irrevocably disturbed, the queen and her shatter Kai found themselves flung across the plains into the eerie and terrible realm called the Shadowfell. The journey killed her, yet from corrupted ashes she rose, a queen with both her eyes and her serving birds as dark as her ambition. So was born the Raven Queen, mistress of life. Hmm. Very interesting. Hmm. Are you all okay? I thought we were safe here. More for me. Just barricades. There was a ruin of some kind, pretty close, and I'm trying to find it again. It's a little more up ahead, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna try and enter that with my lantern. I might die, but I'll try! <laughs> wow! You guys good? Yeah, they're just gonna say, how dare they, those traitors. Oh no. Fucking flaming fists, I hate them. <laughs> Let's see. Have I been here? Have I been here in the first place? Um, I think this is where I wanted to go. Oh, that's my life source now. <gasps> oh. Are we okay? We're okay. Anything here? This should be intriguing. Fishing rods. Hey, would you look at that? I'm gonna get the fish. Of course I'm encumbered. Oh, let's see. Oh, is the shadow girl gonna get me now? No, we're fine. Hmm. Right, let's, what's this, what's this? I'll be taking you. Alright, I definitely need to do something about my inventory because Jesus! Oh, there's a backpack there. Let's see what we have. Backpack. Nothing in the backpack. I don't want a rotten tomato. There was a ruin though, and now I can actually go there with my little lantern. Oh, hello. Oh. Victims of the Shadow Curse. At least they were afforded a burial. Oh, not much. 
Uh, little traps there. Oh, that's sad. Open! Ah, yikes. <laughs> Decimating your graves. <laughs> okay, but this is not. Oh, leaf moss, pick up. Uh, I'm sorry I'm standing on your grave. Incense. Can we? No. I was like, maybe we can read what their graves were saying, but we could not. Did you hear a whistling? Hello, my sweet. Hello, baby. Mm. Oh, that was cute. A little cute interaction there. Okay, I came from there. Look at the shelves. Check the map. Okay. Oof, watch out for the traps, people. I said watch out! How are you so stupid? Oh my goodness, people. Come on now. <laughs> that was a little silly. But I still haven't found what I was looking for. There you go. This is where I want to go. That should be intriguing. I want to go here. Let's see if we can. Oof. Can we go through here? Read. Up ahead, the shadow curse hangs thick. It dark tendrils curling, snuffing out all light and life. Even those with old smell of torches are not safe. Turn back now. But do they have a lantern? <laughs> do they have a lantern? Because I have a lantern. I'm gonna save though, because I don't trust even my lantern. Let's see. Are we okay? Was that? There was a door. Oh, what's with the, the? Can we go there? Double doors? I'm a little concerned, but I'm also very intrigued. Should we go in here? Let's do it. Oh, is it cursed here? Ew, I don't want to go here. Is this a haunted mansion? Forgotten Temple. I'm a little nervous. Padded chairs. Is this cur- Oh my gosh. <gasps> Die. That's beautiful tapestry, though. I'm just gonna say. I'm not gonna lie here, if you don't mind. What happened? Well, you don't mind me, eh? Huh? Oh, they were married. Well, obviously. It's locked. Hysterian? Watch your Oh, yeah, you tell me. This is creepy here. Easy. I hope it is. Add a bonus of guidance. Let's go. Ooh, one! That's really rude. Alright. Let's see what we have. Oh, what kind of armor is this? Stealthier! Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Um, yeah. Yeah, we're taking you. What? Is that blood? No. Never mind. Oh, this is sad, though. What happened here? Well, the shadow curse happened here. Hymns for the Dawn. A book of prayers to Kelevor, judge of the dead. Someone has anointed it with the following. These are a little sectarine in places, but one or two have genuine merit as something more than religious doggerel. Something that actually evokes the complicated feelings of loss and hope for the departed. Their well-being, their eternal preservation in some paradise. Since when is this a horror game? Oh, we can go down? Oh no, we definitely 
definitely don't want to do that. But I want this cake, silver stand. Like, these are a lot of money, so these are mine. Mwahaha. <laughs> Alright. So we're safe here, but once we go downstairs, we might be fucked. Oh, this is this is creepy. Can we talk to you guys? Greetings. Greetings. Well, not much. Hysterian. Don't look like her. Oh, let's try. Oh, did I, I don't want to go there. Why did I go here? I can feel the shadow's power here, but they don't seem to be harming me. Lady Shar. The shadow curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Yeah, because you were charred. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. <sighs> Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. You think that's she it? She loves me. She must do. I don't know. What about me? <laughs> don't get carried away. This could be something else. So what does it all mean? What about me? You're resourceful. You'll find a way. Don't give me that look. It's a good thing that I'm resistant to the shadows. This way I can help you. Easy. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. I don't trust this Those shadow. Those signs we found about Dark Justicias. Perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. What about this place? What about this place? It seems to be the darkest here. What do you think? Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh my god, is this a prison of some kind? Trap. Be cautious. Thank you. Disarm it, please. Add a bonus! That's nice for Shadow. Hell yeah. Right. And now we can open this with the lockpick. There you go. Alright, let's see what we have. Ooh, an interesting ring. Underwear deal spell damage. While illuminated by a light source. Excuse me? Hmm. Huh. Use that one. Shadow, I'm curious about your past. Why can't you remember it all? Ew, I don't want rotten melons. Disgusting. So we seem to be okay with the lantern here. Hmm, I don't think we can go here. Oh. What's this? Sterian. Do you think you can open that? A lock picket, I mean. Apparently. He can. Critical success. Hello? Siller? Alright, what happened here? We know that- okay. Heavily encumbered. How about we send that to Karlag? Yeah. Thief's tool. Anything else? Okay, let's take that. I'm curious about the story here. Hey. Thank you. Nothing else? All that for this. Are you sure? House of Ash. I don't know, Hysterian. I think that's that. Alright, let's go the other way. The Shadow Curse should be the most difficult here, the most tempting, the most dark. We seem to be doing- Okay! Oh, that's Sharon! That's Shar's temple! <gasps> it's a shrine of her! This should be good for Shadow Heart, right? Ooh, I think we're in the right place, Shadow. We might learn more about her. Not affected by the shadow curse. Interesting. Would make sense. All right, back off. What's this new horror? <laughs> yeah. Those claws look deadly. Stay on your guard. Deadly, huh? Deadly. Let's go. No escape. What are you doing? 
Ooh, you weirdo. Mm. Try that. Thank you. Appreciate you. Let's go. Very good. Let's go up here. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh shadow teleport! How about no? <laughs> okay, let's see what we have. Hmm. I'm gonna fire them up a little bit. Because I can. Hi! <laughs> hmm, okay, let's see. This is your end. Warlock's fear. What is that? Uh, I don't want to go there, actually. So I'm gonna do this. Mm, you're almost dead anyway, and you're burning. That's unfortunate. Oh, come on, girl! Are you serious? Fine. Here no. Why with your fear? No choice but to keep going. Let's see what we have for you. They can't fly. No, it's burning, so we're not gonna do that. Let's go here. Let's get to the oh shit! Oh, it's on top of the root. Oh come on, you piece of shit! Ah, it's not what I wanted. There, that's better. Come on! Wow! Wow! Okay, come on! I want to get to the Shire. Shire? <laughs> yes, I would like to get to the Shire, but the Shrine of Shire, it seems. Can I moonbeam then? What if I jump right about here? And I moonbeam the fuck out of you. Right here. Woo! Hello, Lathander! That's cool. That was a coolie coolie. Coolie 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 coolie. Good. Lathander's light, alright. In Sharon territory. Feel the power of Lathander. <laughs> I'm such a Lathander fangirl. Like, yeah. Charm book. Nice, thank you. Okay. Well, I'm in the middle of the light. You're here. Here's a strike. Immobile fragment. Very good. Hmm. Provokes a. Oh, there you are. Sorry, didn't see you. Apologies. Whoa. Can I bite you? I can. Sure, bite him. Yikes. Come on, come on, come on. Oof, miss. Okay, okay. Let's see. Mm, fainting attack. Nah, you're not that important. Immobile. Oof, sorry. Didn't notice that. Want to shatter? I'll shatter you. Bye. I can click my heels, but I'm immobile. It's easy these days. Let's see what we have. I can do that, but I don't want you right now. Inspect. Oh, we'll do that a little way later if you don't mind. Okay, let's go with that. Away I go. Nice, good job. Love me that moonbeam. <laughs> Love me that moonbeam. Poison spray. Nah, I'm good. Let's go with that. You missed, girl? How did you miss? Alright, get that. Oof. Okay, 
They're being surrounded, which is bad. We'll get there, don't worry. Okay, here we are. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go with the Spirit Guardians again. Because I'm surrounded. There you go. That's what I meant. Do I need to heal anybody? No, we're actually doing quite alright. So, I'm gonna put Sanctuary on my boy here. There you go. What do we do? What do we do? Very nice. Good job. Proud of you. You wanna try? Figured. Good job. Can we move anywhere? We can. Hey, up the roots we go. Very good. I am fury. I am death. death. Let's see. Ah, that's not it. Let's go with that. Alright, works for me. Mm, that seems a little bit excessive. Good job! Okay! Well, why were they worshipping Char here? Meenok! Um, hello? I don't care about- oh. I can't even loot them. It's just examined. Um, I kind of want to check this option here. Inspect. The lantern gives off a chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. Is a pixie in sight? You notice a tiny pixie trapped within. I knew it. These fey creatures were well known among druidic circles for both their playful hijinks and malicious trickery. Oh, oh really? Please, oh God, you know my you must release me or I'll die. Oh. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. Hmm. Oh, Jesus, what happens? I'll, I'll, we'll have to need the lamp, though. I can't just let go of the lamp. Not now, maybe later. Your fuel for the lantern, how does that work? What is this mechanism at the base of the lantern? Druid, this is an abhorrent twisted magic. I'm sorry you've been put through this, but I'm gonna need you. Anyway, I'll say it. Dolly, thanks you for your sympathy. Now, Druid kind, please set me free. I can't do that. I need protection from this curse. If I release you, will you help me travel to the shadows? Interest. Can I? It would be my pleasure. I don't truly. believe Once it. I'm free, I'll help you, Julie. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. What's this mechanism at the base of the lantern? I dare not name it, newfound friend. The faintest touch could spell my end. I'm gonna hold off for that because I don't trust her. I'll gut you like a ten-day-old if you don't release me right this moment! <laughs> my, my, you changed your tune. Got it many ten days old in your day. I don't respond well to threats. My, you changed your tune. If you prefer the kinder type, I'll sweetly slurp your guts like tripe. I know you want to get out of here, but Jesus. Hmm. What do I do? I kind of feel bad for it. But I'm worried. I definitely need to land her, and especially in here. <sighs> Fine! Uh, this might be my doom. I'm gonna save. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna save. I'm worried about it. But I want to help her, even if she's pissed off. She's obviously... How would you feel if you're trapped inside of a fucking lantern? This might be my doom. Finally! been trapped in that coffin with no one but a mad rider and my own farts for company. <laughs> Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? Well, I need to help the Shadow Curse. I need to get through the Shadow Curse. Can you help? What's on offer? Nothing. My help doesn't come with any strange attacks. Yes, it does. I need to get through the Shadow Curse. Sure I can, but will I? You should. I can yeah, sure grab I you. Here. Give this Bella shake. Speak the magic word. Am I being tricked? What you've earned. I got another lantern. Protection it's fine. From the shadow curse. What more could a dingus want? You're welcome. Thanks. Okay. Can I? 
curious look there. Oh. <laughs> and she has such a way with words. Interesting. Okay. The bell. See, I got another lantern. So, if we're fucked, we're fucked. Oh. Been blessed already, haven't you? Move on with your life. Oh, I'm sorry, Jesus. Okay, we're blessed. We're, we're pixie blessed, so we're fine. Okay, well, I freed them and she helped me. I did not expect her to help me, but here we are. Oh. It's the new night's shrine. Oh. Hidden away. So it's not Lady Shar. Perhaps they had no choice but to hide. Yeah, especially in Shar and territory. Alfred's notes. Hidden amidst columns detailing income and expenditure of a tavern is a side written in a tiny urgent handwriting. I have concealed the sacred relics of our reverend goddess in the darkest corner of this place. Morfred, my loyal brother, seeks to forge a network of allies to stand against the oppressive reign of Catholic Torm. Makes sense. Sadly, fear has gripped the hearts of many. Turning them away from our cause, I cannot truly blame them. For trepidation fills my soul as well. But I must put aside my own fears and reunite with Morfred in the bowels of that of the Mason Guild. Together we shall preserve what we can of the Moon Maiden's light, and hope that the banners of the faithful soon rise against that treacherous dog, Torm. They did, but then the curse returned, or then the curse was bestowed upon us all, and now Catron Torm is back. Hmm. The resistance. Last light side entrance key. I'll be taking that. The lunar idol, really? <laughs> Are you in need of a paper? Oh, wait? please. So bitter. Hmm, I don't need that. Come on, give me those. Wooden box? Oh, sorry, didn't mean that. Alright, that should be all? Hmm, a prayer book. Dearest Tulunite, our fair maiden, weave our hearts with threads of silver, guide us with the light of the moon, and quench us with the purest of tears. Shadows taunt us, hear our prayer. Shadows stalk us, hear our prayer. Shadows wound us, hear our prayer. Salunite, thou with radiant loom, mend our hearts with threads of silver. Heal us with drops of morning dew, and suit our souls with the softest star glow. Of course I'm encumbered again. <laughs> Let's see what else we have. It seems to be bigger. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> That's all. Where's this going? You think we can go there? Hold on. Is there anything here we can use? No, silver plate still. Nothing else here. Hey, what's that? Can we break through that door? Oh. Would you look at that? You think we can do anything with that? Eager for battle. Yep, there you go. Crack all. Immune to slashing damage, huh? Oh, really? So how do we open it? Oh. Okay. I have that fire barrel. Here. Um, let me pick that up. And let me try and throw that at the wall. Right here. Ah. Really? This? You want this? Well, it, 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 it kind of works. Oh, that seemed to work. Now did it? I have a lot on my mind. Oh. And well, in it. It doesn't seem to be too great here now. 
me grab that again. Can I go through it? Can I? I can. Let's see. Oh, hello there. Hmm. Anything of note here? Looks empty. Spider webs. Okay, let's open up. Okay. Survival failed. Anyone with survival? Alright, we can probably... Barricaded. All of the. Not right, you Thank you, Shadow. Oh, what is this place? Damn. All underneath. This is all underneath the inn. This is so big. Alright, I'll be taking you. How do you mean encumbered by the money? Are you joking? Oh, this is so ridiculous at this point. How about action you, Luke? Action. Because you have more strength to carry all of these bottles for me. So why won't you make yourself useful, huh? I miss Carlite now. Mm, worth examining. Anything in there? A hat. We don't care about a hat. All right, well, at least there's wine, am I right? <laughs> Yay. I wish to live in more interesting times. What is this? Is there anything of note? Oh, we're on the other side. I know where we are now. One of these? Jesus. Alright. You're gonna keep looting. Because we want wine, baby. Oh, the cab is gonna be so pleased about this. I would be. If I could taste that much wine, I'd be so happy. I'm not gonna lie. Evidence chest. Yeah, because I saw this from the other side. Interesting. Okay, I didn't want that, but thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, what's going on here? Great. <laughs> A great hmm, thieves too. Oh, we can open that evidence chest. Can we open the? Oh, it's locked. Hold on. I'll let Asterion do that. This is also an evidence chest. Taking you. There's something on the table. Oh, lost like the tension cookie. I'll be taking you. And what's this? Salunite guides us through the night. She is the moon, the stars, her tears. Her sister tries to douse her light, but she protects us from all our fears. Shar will take your sorrow from you, but beware, her night is dark. She'll hide your pain and secrets too. Is that what happened with Shadowheart? And all your joy and all your spark. Do you think we could maybe have Shadowheart turn from Shar and maybe even go to Salunite if she finds out what actually happened to her. But she, because she takes her pain away, but also your joy, your memories. Mm -hmm. Sylvanas, god of all that's wild, of nature's danger and its charm. His glory is not to be defiled, or you yourself, yourself, <laughs> will come to harm. Oh, well, I got a rotten fish. Love that. Okay. Looking ahead. Hold on. There's an evidence chest there. No, I set the evidence chest, darling. Hey. Oh, that's that. A firebolt. Okay, can you open this? There you go. Sweet potato. Leaf stool, I'll take that. Well, I have a sweet potato. Nom nom nom. Hmm, there's not much else here. Carafe of wine. And what about this one? Thank you. A lot of cells, but I don't see much else hiding. Come on, there's gotta be a little something if we can open this. Right, you don't, don't tell me. Are you out of your mind? Are we any, are we missing anything? Sponge tray. Is that all? A broken cabinet, maybe? Mm. Hmm. Hey, there's a door there. You think it leads back into the inn? 
That would be interesting. I think it might. Let's see. And where are we now? I think it might lead back to the inn. Yeah, because we had a key that we picked up. Yay! Oh, there we are. The cellar. Interesting. Okay, that was a little detour. A fun little detour. And we have Pixie Blessing. So we should be fine. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay. Hmm, let's see if there's anything else going on. There's the backpack. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess that's that. We went there. This was very interesting. What's going on here? Oh, <gasps> right. How dare I? I need to get my girl. Alright, we're gonna get my girl. I oh, nearly freaking forgot about Demon. Jesus. I nearly forgot about him. Hey, I need you to come with me. Oh, hi. Hey, girl. Okay, so you need to come. No room in your party. What should I do? Oh, send Lazel back to her place. <laughs> now we're talking. All right, let's go. Blessing of some good. Good, good, good. All right, everybody okay up here? Seems to be. Let's go talk to Damon because he needs to tune up Carlac a little bit more if he can. Here's hoping. Have I been here at all? I don't think I have. Hey. Carlac. I thought you'd be in the city by now. We were ambushed by cultists. Half of us were captured, the other half ran here. I hear Off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them. Hopefully. Here's hoping. Before you run off into the belly of the beast, there's something I need to tell you. What? Well, two things. Good news and bad news. What are you talking about? Give us the good news. Let's hear the bad news. Which one do you want to hear first, Carlac? Give us the good, please. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber. We have that it. can make it possible for Carlac to... Touch people! Exactly! Oh my god. It's really happening. It's been so long. We've got the iron. Let's do this thing! What's the bad um... news? I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Yeah. What's sure. the con? But first, fix me. No, Please. I want to hear everything. Go on, give him the iron. Let's make this happen. Let them and speak. This sounds important. This can wait. We have more important things to handle first. Let him speak. This sounds important. Fine. Well, go on then. I don't enjoy saying this, Carlac. But there's no two ways about it. Your engine is going to blow and I can't fix it. I'm not sure anyone can. Oh my god. It's simply too hot to exist here in the material plane. Unless you return to Avernus. For good. Oh. This thing is going to blow. No. Sooner rather than later. But... But still, you, you can give me something that will let me touch again, right? Safely. Yes, but... That's all I need to know. Oh. Do it. Please. But she needs to go back eventually to Avarnas because she simply can't exist in this plane. Go on, give him the iron, let's make it happen. Carlag, did you hear what Damon said? Your engine is going to explode soon. I know what she wants, but I, I have to say it. I never wanted to live forever. I just want to live good. Oh, that's so sad. Give him the iron then. This is so sad. She can only be well, here for a little while longer. All right. This shouldn't take long. So we could actually properly romance her if we wanted to. Like I didn't have enough options already, right? Oh, Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. And? And? <sighs> so did it... work? Only one way to find out. You're still burning! Lay a hand on her. Pull her into a hug. 
kiss her. <laughs> Stand shock still. I'm gonna try and lay a hand on her because I, I don't want to get burned burned. Oh! Oh! He feels so nice. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, darling girl. Oh, she deserved that. Oh, touch dark. I can't believe it. Thank you, Dallon. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm gonna it's cry. It's the least I could do. Before you go, there's something I need to tell you. What's up? That engine of yours. It's contained for the moment. You told us it's that. It's too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that. But the thing is, there's a cure. What? I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics. None at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. But? You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. That's already what you mentioned. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. Oh, that's sweet. I won't but... stop trying to figure out a cure, but... At this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. Can we not? <laughs> this might be impossible because I don't know much about Averners. I know it's one of the first layers of the hells, but what if we bring the tieflings, uh, you, Damon, to Averners because maybe we can actually work on the metals there because it's hotter there instead of just here. Because the environment is too cold to work on it, can't we work on it there? Is that too dangerous? Probably, yes. But shouldn't that work? Thank you, Damon. We'll have to make the inevitable evitable then. First things first, Karlak, you have touchback. We ought to celebrate that. Thank you. Yeah. Apart from the doom and gloom, you've given me more than I could ever hope to repay. Oh. It's been my pleasure. Good luck. Both of you. Look after yourself, all right? Thank you. Oh, that's so sad. The Helen's heart. I can talk to Karlak, of course. It looks like that old ox made it through the shadows. Oh, really? I'm going to talk to Dan a little bit more. Give me Nowhere sec. safe from this damn sec. absolute. If you need something sharp, I have a few things left. Yeah, I want to check out your inventory. Earlier, you mentioned you could work interesting materials. What did you mean? I could sense some. Smell it almost. Oh. Somewhere in the area. Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. What? If you find it, bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. Oh, interesting. I found this metal in a place called Grimforge. What do you make of it? Absolutely. Rare to get your hands on this stuff. Well done keeping it to hand. Yeah, welcome. You're welcome. What you gonna give me? What you gonna give me? Is that the ore I picked up? There you are. And be careful who you show that to. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. What is it? What did I get? Oh, flawed though. It's flawed! <laughs> Let's see. Oh, inspired. Hellish ornaments. Ooh. Ooh. That might be cool for Car. No, not Carlag. But Lazel. Let me just check it out, guys. Let me just check it out really fast. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, not proficient. I'm gonna send that to Lazel. Because she can fucking wear it! I've got a long road ahead. So, let's talk to Karlak now. This is the best day! Oh. The best day! Hmm, I'm so happy for you. For both of us, if I'm honest. I'm happy for you, Karlak. I don't want to lead her on. I really did like it when she 
sort of took her shot and she's so sweet and she deserves to be loved but I'm not sure if I can give her everything that she is looking for but I'm happy for you Carlag I'm so happy for me too now I just need to find someone to cuddle up to tonight and I'll be the happiest woman on the sword coast <laughs> That's so cute. What about what Damon said about your engine? We need to get you back to Avernus or it's going to blow. Anyone in mind? Oh, that's gonna put a downer on her happy mood, but I have to, I'm gonna have to ask. Listen, I'm never going back. If you said I could die right now or live a thousand years in the hells, I choose to go out now with my freedom intact. I understand. I do understand. I don't expect anyone to understand that. But I've been dealt a hand most people don't have to contemplate playing. I understand you perfectly fine. It wouldn't be forever. You could return just long enough for us to find a solution. Hmm, that's interesting, but can we still free her from the person that she is then in service to once again? We're a team. We make these kinds of decisions together. But I want you to live. I respect your decision. Let me just say it wouldn't be forever. You could return just long enough for us to find some solution. You heard Damon. There is no solution. It's hell or bust. I choose bust. We're still looking for a but cure. I don't want to talk about this now. I've been given a huge gift. I can touch the people I love for the first time in a decade. And for the first time in a decade, there are people I care about all around me. Oh. Let me enjoy that, please. Of course I can. We at least think about going back before it's too late. All right, Parlac, all right, I'll leave it alone for now. You're so stubborn, it's infuriating. I'll leave it alone for now. Thanks, soldier. I just want to celebrate this, at least for a little. Yeah. So sad because we're just so used to touching people, giving them hugs, and to have that be taken away from you, you just take it for granted. Of course she wants to. Of course she wants to celebrate. Is this the strange ox? Oh, he's hurt. No, still incapable. Of what? Huh, incapable of what? I'll show you incapable. I remember you from the Druid's Grove. Are you ready to reveal your secrets yet? You said that twice now. I demand an explanation. I remember you from the Druid's Grove. Are you ready to reveal your secrets? Not for you to know. Oh, come on. Now you piqued my curiosity. You're the ox I met back in the grove. You were very hungry then. I saved you all. Now you have food. You're a rare breed. An authentic wreck-backed river ox. I thought you'd be more discerning. Ah, uh, come on now. You piqued my curiosity. Add a little bonus. I mean, I got many, many inspiration points now, so I should be fine, but let's go. Oh, we're totally fine. Cha, totally fine. Come on, tell me your secrets. Well, come close. Your mind to mine. Oh, do we want to do that? Do not gore me. Do not gore me. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you satisfied? What the fuck? <laughs> Those are the least bavant thoughts I've ever seen. What are you really? Yes, thank you. What the hells was that? How does an ox like yourself have such horrifying thoughts because it's not really an ox? What are you really? Keep quiet, and you won't have to find out. What the fuck? Whatever you are, you're coming out of hiding now. Is that a threat? What the fuck? You know what? Um, I'm just gonna back away slowly. I don't trust this at all, so... You do you! You do you! I don't want to get involved in this. No, no, I don't want to get involved with the creepy ox. Bye! Good little hero. Yeah, goodbye. <sighs> goodbye. I don't want to... Can I... No, no, thank you. No, I'm good. Thank you. So, you want to... What the fuck? What was that? This mo... Is the ox dangerous to everyone else? I don't want to get involved. That freaked me the fuck out. Do you like our new friend? He's new! 
I don't know how much I like him, dude. I don't know how much I really like them. Glad to see you made it. I am. Indeed I am. Uh-huh. Okay, glad to see you made it too. How'd you make it through the shadows? You're the fella who wanted to become a two legs, weren't you? I was younger then. <laughs> My ambitions were more self defeating I was younger I then. I never will be. It's enough for me. Oh, well, that's good for you. I'm glad. How did you make it through the shadows, though? On the double. One hoof quickly following the other. Oh, that's so cute. Glad you s I'm glad to see you made it, too. I remember you from the grove with the druid. Oh, I'm glad. I hope to see you again. Oh. And now I have. Oh, good. Thank you. See you later. Such a cutie patootie, but I'm curious about you. Can I split from the group? I'm just curious about him, okay? I'm just a little curious. Just, just a little curious. Do you think he has anything on him? Hmm, he's gonna see me. Work with me. Pickpocket. Failed. Can't do that. Well, it is an ox, so I don't know where he'd put it, but I'm like curious about him. Damn it. Should I kill the ox? Well, I don't know if we should kill the ox, but maybe get him out of hiding, but that's gonna give the cover away from him. I don't know. Yeah, and we all group together as a team. All right, guys, unfortunately, I'm a little out of time for today. It's a little bit of a shorter episode, but I feel like, okay, this is a nice play to end it before we actually move on from the Lost Night Inn and discover more about the Shadowlands. I'm gonna leave it here. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like because that really helps me out. Subscribe if for some reason you have not already. And I guess I will see you in the very next episode of Baldur's Gate 3. See ya.